the first time that I was given the authentic introduction to open intelligence. Um, and it was listening to one of the talks from Canvas. And there are many talks that you can download from the website <clears throat> where the introduction is given. And it's really just as simple as stopping thinking for a moment. Recognize for yourself what remains when you stop thinking. Recognize that there's an alertness, there's a cognizance. There's something that's looking through your eyes, listening to these words. There's something that's experiencing everything that you're experiencing right now. So the introduction is simply to acknowledge that and to recognize that that's the case for you with your current perception. Now, when I was given that introduction and that suggestion that I could recognize something about myself that was completely constant, reliable, was actually the basis of all of my experience, um, for me it was just incredible. Because I'd been reading books, talking to people, watching movies, um, doing different practices, searching for answers in many different places and in many different ways. And to be given the solution in such a simple and practical way, really, um, I, I recognized the profundity and the value of that immediately. Because I saw that what I had been looking for was what was looking. That my search to find a sense of meaning, my search to find a sense of satisfaction, my quest to try and arrive somewhere, was actually fulfilled in a short moment of allowing everything to be exactly as it is and recognizing the openness of the intelligence that was already the basis of my experience. That introduction was so profound and so um, powerful that it was a bit of a disappointment when that recognition almost immediately disappeared. However, I was fortunate enough to um, be in a situation where I could continue listening to the audio um, recordings of the talks from Candice. And much to my surprise, when I continued listening to these talks, that same recognition returned without me really doing anything. Just through hearing the nature of reality expressed in such a clear, direct and unmistakable way, that recognition was again awakened within me. Just for an instant, just for a short moment. There was the blazing brilliance of mind. There was the shining reality of complete indivisibility that had no need for any descriptions whatsoever. And then that disappeared. And I was back into my old conventional way of describing things and I feel like this today. I like that person today. I feel like that today. What did they just say? Do I agree with that? All these descriptions, this is going on, that's going on. I'm trying to fit everything into these boxes, these categories of descriptions that I'd learned as the way to try and understand what was going on and to work out who I was and what I should be doing. And um, I continue to listen to the talks. And as I continue to listen, again, this recognition occurred. Recognition occurred of the bright brilliance of reality. The shining openness that was actually the nature of reality, that included all of these descriptions. They were the dynamic energy of the shining brilliance of reality. And all that was happening was that my attention, my emphasis was switching from only focusing on the, on, on, in on the descriptions, my thoughts, emotions, sensations, other experiences, to recognizing in my own experience that whatever thought, emotion, sensation or experience I was having, it was inseparable from this bright brilliance of reality. There was no experience I could have, no perception, no description that occurred anywhere other than in, of, as and through this bright, shining openness of reality. And I began to hear this term open intelligence. 
and I began to recognize that that was actually what I was experiencing, was the openness of my intelligence, of intelligence. And every time I recognized this, there was a sense of relief, because I saw that I could relax the need to describe everything that was going on. That I didn't need to try and cage everything in into this tight, narrow set of descriptions that I'd learned to describe reality in my experience. And each short moment of relaxing that learned habit of describing everything, of trying to fit this vast, inexhaustible pouring forth of experience into these narrow little boxes. Each short moment that I just stopped with that game, there was the opening of that intelligence. There it was recognized that actually my intelligence was vast and was continually opening, pouring forth all of this um, data. And, and that's a term that we use in the training just to simplify everything and just call everything data. That in itself is a huge relief. That one simple term can actually encompass all of the learned descriptions and conceptual frameworks that I had. They were just data. They appeared spontaneously, they were there for a, however long they were there, and then they self-released naturally. I didn't need to do anything about them. So I had this recognition and it was it was obvious to me each time I listened to one of these very powerful, clear talks. And so I then began to test out the short moments for myself. And um, for me, this was like being given the most incredible, um, it actually felt like a toy. Um, it was something that I could play with um, in, in my everyday life. And I tried different practices and I've been committed to some, to varying degrees. But, but this was something that I, I could just commit to on a, like a, on a moment to moment basis. I didn't, or even on a day to day basis, just whenever I naturally remembered, just relax for a short moment, relax the need to do anything with anything that was appearing, any of my thoughts, emotions or experiences, and recognize that open intelligence was naturally present, or, or test out and see for myself whether open intelligence was naturally present. And, and you can do that again right now. Just relax the need to describe anything that's going on. Just rest naturally. Recognize the vastness of your intelligence as it is. And so I tested these short moments and um, I was really excited by, about that. I was so intrigued to be given this tool that I could test in my own experience to discover for myself whether what I heard in the talks was actually true. So I didn't need to necessarily believe what I was hearing, but I was given something that I could test this out in my everyday life experience to see whether it was true. And every single time that I took a short moment of allowing just the flow of data, the flow of experience to be as it was, there was open intelligence. Like, without exception, 100% of the time. And that was really interesting for me because I was discovering in my own experience the actual nature of mind, the actual nature of reality, that there was something that was constant and I was beginning to identify it for myself. I'd known in a vague way that there was something about me that never changed. But I'd never really been able to pin that down because the descriptions I had about me and about reality were always changing. You know, I felt, I felt different every day. I had a different experience every day. It's like you can be here in Arambol every day and each day, even if you try to do exactly the same thing, it will be completely different. Your thoughts about yourself, your thoughts about other people, your thoughts about your experience of being here will never be the same as any other day. So really getting to see the nature of reality that my experience, it's completely unpredictable and it's changing all of the time. And this is obvious, but I'd never really acknowledged and understood and been totally clear about this. So the first place that we gain clarity and understanding is by understanding the nature of reality, the nature of our own experience of reality. 
and short moments was the tool that I began to open that up for myself. But there were some descriptions that I had been um, telling myself for so long that they really, really seemed to be fixed things. They seemed to have a, a solidity and a power. They seemed to really describe the way that things are and the way that I am and who I am. And it was interesting then to be given the suggestion, or it was really, for me, what was really powerful was the insight and the recognition that when I was born, I wasn't born with any ideas about anything. I wasn't born with a single idea about anything. I wasn't born with a single idea about me being a separate individual. I wasn't born with any ideas about my identity. Even the ones that seem really fixed, like um, nationality, gender, race. I wasn't born with any of those ideas at all. And that was really interesting for me to, to, to really come to terms with, that everything that I had thought about myself and about the world, somewhere along the way I'd learned. Everything, absolutely everything, including all of my ideas about the world, what it means how I need to be in the world, what I should be doing with my time, what is the meaning of life, what's the purpose of being here. And the more that I began to immerse myself in the Balanced View training, based on my experience of testing short moments and listening to um, the audios, and seeing these incredible results, like results that were so far beyond anything that I'd imagined possible for me in my life. So practical results like experiencing an openness and ease and a love in relating that I had had glimpses of in my life, but seeing that that was becoming more and more an everyday lived experience with my friends, with my family, with people that I met on the street. There was an easygoing lightness to my life that had never been there before, or never been there in that same consistent way, always available to me whenever I relaxed and recognized open intelligence. And so from those results that I saw from testing the short moments and listening to some audios, I began to um, participate with more interest in what else was being offered here. And that was simply because I saw the results of testing out the short moments and, and listening to some of the media. And I began to participate in some of the written trainings. And my experience of the recognition of open intelligence just began to open up and increase and increase. And this was exactly what I wanted. I realized that what I really wanted from life was to gain confidence and assurance in what was actually true. I wanted to understand for myself the nature of reality. I didn't want to rely on other people's descriptions, concepts and ideas that I'd learned about who I was, about what the world was, about what the meaning of the whole thing was. And as I relied more and more on the support, my certainty and my assurance in what the actual nature of real reality is just continued to open up and increase. And the clarity and the understanding of all of those concepts and ideas, because they were all included in this comprehensive understanding, also increased. So I could see really clearly that everybody was always doing their best. Always doing their best. And that in my own experience, I had always been doing my best with what I knew. But what I had known was actually a very limited understanding of the nature of reality, of the nature of who I was. And through recognizing the openness of my intelligence, allowing it to continue to open, rather than trying to box it into these learned conceptual frameworks, then I began to see that really I have a choice in how I live my life. I have a choice in so many more ways than I even imagined. I have a choice about where I take my information from, about the nature of reality. 
and I saw that many, many people, myself included, had been living a life based on believing the reality of all of these passing thoughts, emotions, trying to build a world based on descriptions. But none of the descriptions had an independent nature. They were simply the dynamic energy of open intelligence. And I saw the results of living life based on this world of description. I saw it personally. I saw how difficult my relationships were because the data, the descriptions were always changing. Liking someone one minute, not liking them the next. My behavior then adapting to those ever-changing perceptions. Feeling happy one minute, feeling sad the next my activity in the world changing based on those ever-changing descriptions. No solidity, no stability, no consistency. I felt really uncomfortable and confused. I couldn't make sense of things. All I was doing was focusing in on the descriptions. And then the information that I took was based and coming from a whole world of people that that is what they believe the nature of reality was then discovering that actually there was another source of information that was totally consistent in confirming reality as being something completely different. Reality as being this bright shining expanse without limit, without periphery, without edge, like the sky. And that when I heard and I had access to this information, then I knew in my own experience that this was actually true. There was something about what I had been told in the conventional understanding of reality, of life, that never quite added up for me. It always felt that there was something that I wasn't being told. And I was looking for somebody that could tell me what that was and show that to me in my own experience. And that's what I found as I began to participate more and more in the Four Mainstays, in the Balance View training. The written trainings that I participated in were so powerful in showing me that actually I housed the power and the intelligence of the universe in a usable way. That the narrow, limited definition of who I was, all these conceptual frameworks that I needed to fit my experience and my identity into, trying not to swear, was just not true. Just wasn't true. This is what I had learned and then I'd been telling myself for so long it wasn't true. And it became clear to me then that the purpose of my life was to continue to train up in open intelligence and to recognize its powers of great benefit for the benefit of all. Because this narrow, limited definition of me being this isolated, separate, lonely individual struggling and suffering throughout my life, enduring life until at some point there would be an end to it, just that was not true. And that had never sat easy with me. And to discover that actually what I am is this vast openness of intelligence, the perceptual openness that is looking through your eyes right now. That is the reality. That is the nature of reality. And like when you look at the sky, where's the edge? Where does the sky begin and end? Where's the boundary? It's completely vast, completely open, and mind is exactly the same. Where's the, where's the edge to your mind? Where does it begin or end? So based on these very simple suggestions that I was given to look at my own experience and to become absolutely clear for myself what the nature of that was, and to see that there was a teaching or a training that could support me in that recognition in all aspects of my life without exception. Because like I shared, there were some descriptions that still seemed to have this grip over me. They still seemed to have this power. And that was even more painful because somewhere I knew that they didn't. And yet I was still behaving as if they did. And so I've just continued to show up more and more. And I immerse myself in this environment of open-hearted empowerment, of perfect love, of people demonstrating what it means to live in, <laughs> as what we actually are. 
these open-hearted, powerful beings that are this expression of the intelligence of the universe, that have the capacity to bring love and openness and joy and empowerment to all of our relationships, without exception, including the ones that seem difficult, including the one with ourself. No, nothing excluded, everything part of this indivisible expanse as I knew it was. And yet trying to parcel it up into these different packages and then deal with it from that perspective was so difficult. But from the recognition of that vast openness and the inseparability of all data from that, then there was the clarity in knowing how to proceed in a moment-to-moment -moment basis, in a very practical way, not in some spaced out way being really clear about the information that I wanted to take to support me in that. And um, so that was my experience of really going for the whole of the support. And I continue to do that. I, it's like, for me, it feels like I'm just sitting in this bath of just complete open-hearted love. And that's what I find here in this training. And wherever I go and I spend time with the Balanced View community, that's what I find. That this warmth, this love, this care, this effectiveness, this power, this potency. Wherever I go, and I'm fortunate enough to go in lots of different communities around the world or online, it's the same, nothing changes. So that's what's on offer here. And it took me a while to actually grasp and understand just how unique that was. In, in my experience, I'd never come across anything like it. There were things that sounded similar, things that might even say the same thing, but was there that depth of support that allowed me to integrate it into my everyday life, in all circumstances? So check it out. Discover for yourself what's on offer for here. And, and take your time, go at the pace that, you, that suits you. There's no rush, but just Check it out. Find out.